Hospitals on our first coast are starting to see more patients with COVID-19. You have Health currently has 28 patients with COVID-19. Five days ago, for comparison, that number was about half, 16 patients. 77% of the most recently admitted patients are not vaccinated. Hospital officials say hospitalizations are not nearly as high as they were when the Delta variant was dominant, but they do say numbers are rising, and they've seen that since Christmas. And the local increase comes as hospitals are running out of one of the main tools in their COVID toolbox. A monoclonal antibody treatments now in short supply, according to officials at UF Health. This coming after the federal government paused distribution of the treatment because the companies who make it say it's not effective against Omicron. All your size, Kaylee Tracy spoke with local healthcare experts about what this means for the local antibody site and your options for treatment if you test positive. It does make us a little bit world worried in the medical community that we've lost a couple tools in the fight against COVID. That's Chad Nielsen, director of infection prevention at UF Health's reaction to news that two of the three companies that produce monoclonal antibody treatments say they're not effective at treating Omicron. Generally, when a, a treatment becomes ineffective against a new variant uh, or a new variety of virus uh, is that something in it has mutated and changed. And what mutated and changed was what that treatment was targeting. The news from Eli Lilly and Regeneron caused the federal government to halt distribution of the treatment until more data is available. Even if the vast majority of Omicron infected patients don't need hospitalization, these monoclonal antibody treatments were a, a great treatment option for them in outpatient clinics and doctor's offices and what have you. So to lose that is, is very concerning for us. The domino effect caused local antibody sites like Jacksonville's to limit its appointments. Signs like these now sit outside. A spokesperson for the company that runs the site says the treatment is also only offered now to those with proof of a positive test. Really, there's no other real effective treatment right now. Uh, to treat Omicron or really any other COVID other than supportive treatment for your symptoms. So um, that's why we really encourage people, uh, you know, get vaccinated, get boosted. Nielsen says the treatment won't hurt people with the new variant, but it likely won't help. I'm hopeful that this variant is not going to drive severe illness like Delta did. We're still waiting and seeing how this is going to really play out in terms of the severity. Nielsen says the antibody treatment made by a third company largely is not available in the United States. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.